Good morning. Today is Friday, March 27th. This is the last day of the school week, but we still have one more day of the week. What day is it? That's right, it's Saturday. Today is the fourth Friday of the month. Have a great day. Look at the clock beside the calendar. What time does it say? Both the minute hand and the hour hand are pointing to 12. That means it's 12 o'clock. It might not be 12 o'clock at your house, but it was when I made this video. Have a good day. Today is the 27th of March. Is 27 an even number or an odd number? It's odd. It ends with a 7. Any number that ends with 1, Three, five, seven, or nine is an e is an odd number. Let's take a look at the back of our card. These two bags of marbles show us ten twenty, and there are seven left over on this side. Let's count it together: ten twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. There are seven marbles in the ones place and two marbles in the tens place. Hi class. Did you notice that I've turned over all of the even numbers between 1 and 20? That's because we're going to be skip counting today. And we're only going to say our odd numbers. Let's say them together. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen. All of those numbers are odd. Hi class, it's Mrs. Lawson. Today we're going to take a look at some money questions. We're going to be counting money and then we're going to be adding the money together. Let's take a look. We're going to start off by counting our money. We're going to count just this row and then we're going to add it to the money in the bottom row. Let's begin. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. This is 17 cents. Now, let's count the next row. These are dimes. 10, 20. So now we have 20 cents. We're going to add these two numbers together so we can see how much money we have all together. To begin with, we need to count just the money on one side. And we're going to count just the ones place. 7 plus 0. What is 7 plus 0? That's correct. It's 7. And now we're going to count the tens place. 1 plus 2. What is 1 plus 2? That's correct. It's 3. So when we add 17 plus 20, our answer is 37 cents. Great job. Let's count some money again. We have two nickels and two pennies on the top row. And we have three dimes and a penny on the bottom row. Let's count the top row first. 5, 10, 11, 12, we have 12 cents on the top row. On the next row, we have 10, 20, 30, 31. 31 cents. Let's add those two numbers together to see how much money we have all together. We're going to start just adding the numbers in the ones place. We have 2 plus 1. What is 2 plus 1? That's right. It's 3. 
We also have 1 plus 3 in the tens place. Let's add those together. 1 plus 3 is 4. We have 43 cents all together. Let's take a look at this money and count it together. My top row has six nickels and a penny. Let's count them. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31. 31 cents. Now let's take a look at our second row. Our second row has four dimes and a nickel. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. 're going to add these two numbers together. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add the two numbers in our ones place. Whenever we add, we only add the numbers that are right above and underneath one another. One plus five is six. Three plus four is seven. Thirty one plus forty five is 76. Hi class, it's Mrs. Lawson. I'd like for us to look at our clock today. We've been looking at o'clocks when it's right on the hour and we've been looking at half past the hour or when it is something 30 like. This is 5 o'clock and this is 530. But there are a lot of other times that we can have as well. If this is six o'clock, we can move the minute hand around one minute at a time if we wanted to. So this is one minute after six, two, three, four, five minutes after six. We're gonna count by fives as we go around the clock. I'll move it back to 12. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Right now our clock is showing 6, 45. This would be 6, 50, 6, 55. And then when we get to the very top, it would be 7 o'clock. Hmm, 5, 10, 15. It is now 7, 15 on our clock. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. It is now 7.25 on our clock. I would like for you to practice counting by fives and telling time today. Let's skip count by the number five. Learning to skip count by five is very important because we need it when we're telling time and when we're counting money. Let's begin. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 